Is it's me, your girl, Latoya Sharika. And, you know, on this Sunday evening, I'm just winding down from eating a good meal that I prepared for me and my children. But I just got on, decided to get on and talk about my day, which was so exciting. Um, I got up early, me and my um, baby boy. And um, got fresh and all that stuff. And then my other boy got up and we got up and cooked a big old breakfast. And I had to fight them two for nail to sit down at the table as a family to eat. But anyways. But the most exciting thing apart about today was the snow. The snow came down today and I was so excited. I was acting like a kid at a candy store. <laughs> that snow. You know, I like the snow, but it's dangerous. I've learned my lesson. You know, I didn't get in it. I didn't go out in the snow today. I looked at it from afar. But it still was exciting because, you know, the last two winters, two or three winters, we ain't get no snow at all here in Georgia. So the last time we did get snow, I think I just had my baby. And he was like one, one going on two or something like that. But um, the snow came down, and it was beautiful, but it wasn't enough to stick. But maybe tomorrow it'll be a little bit better. Or overnight, overnight, because it's still wet and um, off and on raining. So that was my highlight of my day, you know. Overall, I felt good today. You know, I talked to a few people, somebody that I haven't talked to in a long time. You know, we linked up off of Facebook, and she called. I gave her my number, and she called, and I talked to my neighbor next door. You know, it just feels good to have that outpouring of love, you know, and people just want to actually be there for me and genuine about it, you know, because normally I'd be a little sketch. You know, normally I'd be so sketch. You know, and my trust factor is so high. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's off the charts, but... I'm learning to I'm learning to be vulnerable and also learning to let people in. You know, I've been so closed off and shut off and isolated to, you know, my natural instinct is to just uh don't let nobody in. Don't let nobody know what's going on with me or pretend like everything's okay. And you know, 2022, I'm not doing no more no more pretending. I'm going to say how I feel. And I'm going to let my family that, that's riding with me know how I feel or what's going on with me. Well, yesterday, Saturday, uh, the kid's daddy came over early in the morning. You know, his intention, my, my intention was when he told me he was coming over, that he would spend time with his kids. But that wasn't an issue. That wasn't the um Thing. But he did come over. He barbecued some chicken wings, my lamb chops, and um, I think it was a T-bone steak. And he barbecued that on the grill for me before the weather got bad. <clears throat> so um, he hung around for the most part, you know. But his motive was, as always, when he's around, is to use, 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 try to use me in some capacity. But I just shake my head because you come way down here to pretend like you come for your children. But in the next breath, you trying to use me or you begging me or something in some kind of capacity, you know. And I have to shake my head because you too, I need your opinion on something. If a man leaves home to be with another woman, so the other woman, that makes the other woman the main bitch, I'm assuming. That's how that goes, right? So with that being said, the other woman is is also responsible for that man that she took away from his home. And she should be able to cook, clean, and have dinner, meals prepared for him, make sure he's straight, Right? Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, you two. Just correct me if I'm wrong. That woman that took the man from his wife and children, she's responsible for his day-to-day. -day, you know? 
I wonder if she knows that he's coming over here. Like he's coming over. He's been coming over here. We haven't been arguing and fussing and fighting and stuff like that. But he's been coming over. Uh, he comes over at lunchtime when he's working through the week. And then he'll come back again probably later on that evening after he get off work. Or like, for instance, he came Saturday, but he told me in advance it was coming. But my thing is, you know, you should be straight. You shouldn't want for nothing when you get over here. When you get here, you should be re you should be ready to give. Not come over here looking for something. But he told me that I made it bad for him. He can't get nothing from nobody because I made it bad because I put his business out there on Front Street. I didn't put his business out on the Front Street. I was just telling me, telling the world what I was doing, what has happened to me, and why I've been so out of the spotlight. And if that meant telling telling what was going on in my house, then so be it. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I know I'm a good woman. He knows I'm a good woman. But yet, he wants to justify every time he come around as to why he che cheated on me. Why he left me. He said I put him out. I saw him away. But he didn't have no business doing what he was doing from the get-go. And the reason that he's out, because he had the woman's name on a keychain on his house keys. And my son found it. And brought it to me. I was tired of it. I was tired of it. I just was tired of it. But he he, but he blames me for everything that was down. And yet he has not even apologized to for the way he's treated me. The way he's lied to me. The way he's tried to manipulate the situation at hand. But in the mind in my mind and way I think I've been thinking now since I've been getting much better and stronger and resisting him, you know, and resisting the BS that he brings with him is that, you know, you got what you wanted. You, you, you worked very hard to get this woman. You, you neglected your whole home, your wife and your kids to be with this woman. Every time you was here, you were never in the moment. Every time you was home, you never was concerned about what was going on. You find ways to make an argument because you couldn't be with her like you want to be with her. When you're supposed to be doing this, supposed to be doing that, you out in the backyard talking to her. You out in the truck talking to her. You making excuses to leave the house just so you can ride around the block and talk to her. You talk to her more than he talked to her more than he talked to me. And I'm his wife. And I'm his wife. So... Now he's hollering about, you're my wife. You're my wife. But I don't feel the same way. I don't feel the same way. A whole year has passed, and you won't apologize. He won't um, take accountability for anything. And he walks around like everything's okay. He lives in a distorted reality. He does. And I've been doing my research but I can almost pinpoint that he's a narcissist. I've been doing my research. I really have been. And I believe he's a narcissist. Because who the hell believes their own lies? Who believes their own lies like that? <laughs> Jesus, 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 Jesus. My heart wants to work it out. My heart wants him to be here with me and his kids. My heart wants that. But my mind is telling me. No, 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 because it's going to be more of the same. It's going to be more of the same. I'm making progress in my own life. I'm moving different. I'm learning to save. I'm learning to be more independent and rely more on myself and my family and God. Yes, I get lonely. Yes, I am lonely. But I'd rather take that loneliness before I be second place to some other damn woman. I got that kind of sense, you know. 
I don't just have to have a man. I don't have to. I don't just have to have a man. And I don't want a man at that cost. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want a man at that cost. No. I need somebody that's going to be for me. That's going to be into me. That's going to push me towards my goals. That's what I need. That's what I need. I need a man, man, that's, that's genuine, that would genuinely love me and my children. I need a man's man. I really do. But I'm not pressing to have one right now. I'm not pressing to be with a man right now because that is not my focus. My focus is to meet my goals with these YouTube videos. My focus is to make a, make a legacy for my children. My focus is to focus on my kids' education. I've done education. I've done it twice. I have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice, and I have a master's degree in public administration. So I've gotten mine. Now it's time for me to focus on them. And that's what my intentions are. That, are, that is what my intentions are. Because since these things have happened to me, especially the infidelity and me talking about how I grew up and how my mom wasn't there to protect me. She didn't love me. And, you know, it just, it all just feels so dreary. I don't know. Maybe I'm not saying the right words. But, you know, all this stuff that's happening, it's just like, you know, when I think about it, nobody really loved me in my life. Nobody really loved me. Nobody was considerate of my feelings. Nobody cared enough to love me. And I know that sounds selfish, but I have to love myself in order for anybody to love me. So that's one of my goals that I'm working on. I have to love myself. I'm learning to let people in. I'm learning to accept the help from others. You know, my guard is way up still. But I'm managing it. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. <sighs> these like these this last past week just went by. You know, I just was feeling really, really good after being sick for almost two weeks. I I've begin feeling really, really good. And I don't and once, you know, I get the feeling real good, I just try to keep the momentum going because I know if I don't keep it going, me being in the dark place won't be too far. And it takes it, it, it only takes one incident, one incident for me to go into a dark place. One, one stupid incident. One. And yes, last week, the devil tried to come in, but he tried, the devil, the devil tried to come in. He tried to use my husband to disrupt my peace. But I let it happen. I didn't let it happen. I didn't let it happen. And normally, I would give in to that. So I'm working. I'm working very hard to take care of me. To take care of me and my peace. I'm working very hard. <sighs> my heart tells me to give my husband another chance. My heart tells me to give my husband another chance. But my mind says no in my R. Kelly voice. But my mind is telling me no. <coughs> That's what I get. That's what I get for trying to say. <coughs> That's what I get. <laughs> I'm not no singer. But I just feel, uh, I, I don't feel like I felt last year. I don't feel like that. I had rage, anger, sad, depressed. I was all over the map. I was all over the map dealing with this infidelity, dealing with my weight issues, dealing with my eating habits, dealing with all things me. You know, dealing with those things, then dealing with my children. You know, helping d dealing with them and trying to finish a damn degree and all this stupid stuff here. You know what I'm saying? It just was hard. And then to find out that somebody that you've been with for so long, for so long, 16 years, and they are they have been stepping out on you for a while. 
heartbreaking, 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 heartbreaking. Last year, last year, 2021, was the worst year ever. The worst year ever for me. The worst year ever for me. The worst. Every month, every day in the month of 2021 was a struggle. Was a struggle. Was a struggle. And through it all, I've tried my best to maintain a positive outlook, to appear to appear to be happy in front of my kids. And when I ever chance I get, go in my room, cry. Go in my room, cry. Go in my room, cry. Lay down in the dark, wrapped up in my blankets, and blame myself for everything that was happening. Every day in the month of 2021 was a fucking struggle for me. It was just bad. Bad, 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 bad. And I can tell you every day, every every day, I can tell you every day. I tell you, in each month of 2021, what was going on that was negative and bad, I can tell you. I can run it down. I can run it down so good. But that's a whole nother video for that one. Because that could take, that would probably take two hours. <laughs> that would probably take two hours. But, you know, I've gotten, I've gotten so much outpour and love. And just people just let me know that they're here for me, and they didn't know that I was dealing with so much, you know. And that's the part that that was why that was so much of why he had me isolated. He know he wasn't doing right by me. He was he didn't doing right by me. He didn't want me on social media, Facebook, Instagram. He didn't want me on those things. And then when I tried to get on him. It was an issue. It was a problem. I well, that's little girl stuff. You being a little girl. What you a little girl? You on Facebook? Little girls do that. Wow. You know. You love to demean me and demean demean me at any cost. But every time you turn around, it's need you. You need me to type something up for you, fix your resume, uh, help you look for jobs on the computer, help manage your shit. Your your bills and and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? It always come back to me. You always come back to me for to do this, do that, do this. Just like now, you over there with that woman, but you running over here want me to do things for you that she could do. That she can do. But he value her. He values her. Feelings over mine because he told me that he wants to come back home, but he got to figure out a way to come back home and break up with her. But at this point, in rate, I don't even care no more. I don't. You know, I I wanted my children to have their daddy in their life in the house, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <clears throat> Because the bond that he had with our older son is gone. It's gone. My son don't care if he come around or not. My my older boy and my baby boy, he really don't understand what's going on. And the bond is broken. It's broken. I can't force it. I try to tell him, you know, that's your daddy. No matter what, give him the respect that he's due. But my son ain't feeling it. He's not, and I don't know what else to do with that, you know, because talking to my strange husband is like talking to, it's like watching a wall, watching paint dry on a wall, 
because you're talking to somebody, but they interpreted it in another way that he would try to turn it and spin it and make it seem like everything is my fault. He don't listen. He don't listen. You can, he don't rationalize. And he's so quick to blame others except himself. So quick. So quick. So quick. I've tried to talk to this man about his son. But it's just like his goal. It goes in and out one ear and out the other one. But he will pay for that. He will pay for that. He will pay for that because that's his fault. He will definitely pay for that. But I don't know. I don't know, Lord. I don't know Facebook. I don't know. You know, because, you know, sooner or later, there's going to be a time where I'm going to make some, some hard decisions, you know. Some hard, hard decisions. I know how I feel. I know how I feel. And, but first and foremost, I want to consider my children in my decisions that I make. I've gotten advice, you know, from people that I respect and everything. But ultimately, the decision is mine. And I know one day I'm going to make some hard decisions. Some hard decisions. Mm -mm -mm. I love the way I feel right now. I am at peace here with my children in this house. I'm at peace. I'm not worried about what's going on outside of this, these these walls. I'm not worried about my ex-husband and his philandering ways. I'm not worried about that. I'm not concerned at all. I'm not, I'm, I'm not concerned about nobody but my children and the people that love me. I'm at peace right now. I'm at peace. I'm trying to work on my goals. <clears throat> I want to lose weight. And I want to get this pressure off me. It's not easy walking around like this right here. I tell you, my body and bones hurt so much. You know, it just it's, it's, it hurts. And I I and it, I used to stuff like this didn't used to bother me prior to me having my kids. It didn't used to bother me. I used to get around pretty fine, but now I'm lucky if I can make it from here to the deep freeze over there without having to just you know sit down or take a breath or hit the asthma pump. It's like it's the reason why I'd, that I don't like to go out too much where I'm with my kids because I don't want them to feel embarrassed. You know, look at your mom; she's fat because here in Georgia, they act like they never seen a fat person. And I know plenty of these kids got fat ass mamas, but they find it amusing when they see me. Oh well, it hurts. It hurts me deeply, but ain't nothing I can do about it because I can't help the fact that some people are just ignorant. It hurts. I teach my children to be respectful of all people and be mannerable. They don't give nobody no problems, not even in school. They don't give nobody no problems, but um, it's just a lot. But I make it my business for 2022 to be positive, productive, crank these videos out, gain me some supporters and followers, and, you know, just tell my truth. That's all I can do is tell my truth, you know. A lot of people don't like the idea that I'm telling my truth, but it's mine to be told. It's mine to be told, and it's time that it get told. You know, I'll, you know, I'll go and dip back in back in time and talk about that kind of stuff but I just want to talk about things on my own time so this channel don't get old to people you know you know what I'm saying because overall it's people that's going through some of the similar things I've been through 
and still going through, you know, and my only gain is to just help and let them know that there's people out there like that, like me, like you, or anybody that's watching, you know, and I enjoy the comments that the people leave, and I do my best to try to respond back quickly. So, with that being said, YouTube, I've been on here um, uh, 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 quite a bit, and I didn't want to overdo it today. So, with that being said, I want y'all to continue to support me, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back to doing my YouTube, my um, Facebook lives soon. But, like, comment, and, and share, subscribe, all that. Every little bit helps me every little bit and i thank y'all for watching my channel have a good night see y'all in the next video goodbye life in a world that keeps changing think that it's progress you're making copy and paste pretty faces all the time pictures so perfect we play through